future cities look like? According to Wohar's visionaries, they must be durable, sustainable, and in perfect symbiosis with the environment. Let's take a look at the way we should be heading right now in order to avoid a worldwide disaster. Woha, a Singapore-based architectural firm founded in 1994 by Wong Mun Sum and Richard Hassel, have received widespread fame for their seamless integration of environmental and social concepts throughout their designs. They've created a wide range of unique and important projects that have been built in a variety of cities and countries. Their most well-known buildings have been widely publicized as sustainable design benchmarks. Woha's architectural solutions and planning ideas are now relevant to every significant city on the globe, despite global warming, tremendous urban population expansion, and more dysfunctional infrastructure. Woha's goal is to improve the quality of life for all city residents while also preparing them for the effects of climate change. The tactics, innovations, and technologies we require are already in place. All we need to do is learn how to make the most out of them. Green should be a must-have color. Green roofs and urban green spaces are becoming more important as active participants in the city's restorative process. Take Singapore, for example. It will be a 21st century city that is livable, sustainable, and resilient. A lush and pleasant environment that invites humans and other living creatures. This vision will promote wellness and a vigorous lifestyle while providing a good quality of life. Singapore offers a model for how people might incorporate circular systems into cities that benefit individuals, the built environment, and wildlife. Living in a multi-purpose environment The whole idea of a private setting is changing. Nowhere is this theme more considerably obvious than in Singapore 2100. Today's work, study, play, and living areas are all multi-purpose, allowing more people to use them at different times. This will result in a more efficient use of space, allowing citizens to stay active and eliminate alienation hours spent in solitary offices in favor of fewer but more efficient hours spent socializing. 5050 City Singapore is envisioned as a 50-50 metropolis under the Warha proposal, with half of the surface dedicated to nature and the other half to urban places. Because of the thriving biodiversity, the heat island effect is minimized, the air is cleaner, and the visual well-being reserved for inhabitants will improve the residents' quality of life. Without a doubt, an environmentally conscious and green metropolis will have a difficult time coexisting with traffic. Woha's vision for the future includes public transit, pedestrian and cycling lanes, as well as private vehicles which are primarily electric. Woha's team has expressed their excitement by stating, quote, We will be able to travel the city in three dimensions, above ground, below ground, and via the sky. Transforming 2D planning into an integrated 3D model saves time and space while also reducing carbon emissions and improving the lives of citizens. A horizontally and vertically oriented city with multiple levels extending from the ground to the sky is what this means in practice. Services and logistics will be subterranean, followed by retail and community zones on the near-ground levels, with living and working areas in the middle, and drones and energy layers at the very top. And that's all for today. What are your thoughts about this 50-50 city? Do let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.